Hello everyone, this is Joanne Manister, Science Goddess on Twitter. If you've been following my timeline for the past few months, you may have noticed I've been working with Merck KGAA Darmstadt Germany for their hashtag Always Curious campaign. As their campaign draws to a close, they've released their full curiosity report, and you can view that here. Their curiosity report showcases results from the survey conducted with over 3,000 workers from China, Germany, and the United States. It seeks to give a deeper understanding of whether promoting curiosity to drive innovation is a sound investment and which influencing factors are crucial for it. So you can read the report here and the link is down below. It's a bit long, so if you'd rather get a brief preview, you can learn more with their interactive online feature. Their interactive online feature is pretty cool and shows highlights of the report. Let's take a little tour. You can see here they have some fancy animation of a brain encased. Different regions of the brain show different areas that are highlighted in the report, including the Curiosity Index, Always Curious, Digitalization, Innovation, Optimal Workplace. So you can go through and click on whichever you like. And you have to click a couple times to break through to get to these sections. So once you break through the brain case to get through to the different areas, you will see that you will have things you can read. There will be some things that are interactive that you can click on and join along with. Here's a question, for instance, what does your curiosity encounter most at work? Well, I would say enhancers because I'm in academia. I have a pretty flexible environment. But that's not always the case. And uh, they have some things that these things help enhance curiosity. And you can move on past their fancy little neurons. They have experts giving their opinions on things in video and audio, and their barriers to curiosity. And we won't go through everything here because it's for you to go through. But as you continue to scroll through, you can learn more and more about the curiosity report. You can either go back to the report that I showed you before, or you can keep exploring. We'll go back to the brain. We'll see, ooh, very fancy. So let's choose, let's choose innovation. And again, we can scroll through. There'll be information and graphics. Do you think investing in curiosity is important? Of course I do, and many people do. More quotes more information, and uh, again, keep exploring. Let's try the Curiosity Index, and I'll leave the rest for you to explore. There is a Curiosity Index, which is a score they gave, and they tell us who they think are most curious, who are least curious, which companies support curiosity. This is on a blog post that I have written for Merck uh, previously, and that link will be down below. It just shows the four main components of curiosity. One is deprivation sensitivity. Number two is joyous exploration. Number three is stress tolerance. And four is openness to people's ideas. They ask you to join in. What are your strengths? And you can submit, and I see that I match along with most respondents. And more and more information, and we can keep exploring, but I think you get the idea. Thanks for coming along with me as we looked at the Merck KGAA Darmstadt Germany's Curiosity Report with their hashtag AlwaysCurious initiative. 
The links to the websites we visited are in the text below this video, so feel free to check it out, see where you stand in their curiosity report compared to other people who participated in it. Thanks for listening.